here with the uh, recording the second episode of my KSP Interstellar Tutorials. And I have here a simple craft that I will be using to add another reactor to the microwave power um, relay system. Just adding another about 5 gigawatts of power to it. But uh, we're going to utilize this to show why having um, radiators is good and keeping your waste heat low is beneficial to you. We're going to be using MechJeb for launch profile again. And everything is set the way I need it. or Well, the way I need it and the way I want it. We are using FAR, so uh, I do like having a custom ascent path. I have turned off music because... Alright, the SRBs were much louder than I was actually expecting. So, post-edit, we reduced the volume of them. We have two ground power stations which are easier to replace than the uh, space station, the space transmitters. We'll leave the ones that are up there as relays. You can see right here that uh, I have max waste heat in this reactor. That is... I'm not sure if that's a feature or a bug, but... Well, it's there. It's a feature. Um, the rea the generator, its efficiency is based off of the amount of waste heat in your reactor compared to the waste heat in your radiator. The more waste heat in the reactor, aka the higher it is and closer it is to 100% full, while the radiators are lower and closer to 0%, it'll give you a higher efficiency on your actual generator. Um, this is the launcher is one of my preferred ones for LKO and um, it's not that great of a launcher but it works for what I want. We are about to hit SRB separation, so we'll be going back to the original and old me. The bottom half, beautiful. The top half, not so much. This is my um, standard lifter module that I use almost consistently to get things up into uh, low curve in orbit. As you can see, um, our theoretical supply has dropped since we started launch. This is because our electric generator here is actually dropping in efficiency. I just turned on the uh, transmitter, so... generator will the efficiency is based on how much thermal power is actually getting translated into megajoules the higher the efficiency the lower the waste produced by it 
that is my understanding of it. If I am incorrect, feel free to correct me. I have no issues against this, and I will, if uh, you're proven correct, um, I will go ahead and re-record, give you credit, and uh, we will see how it goes. Alright, we are now safely in space. Probably would have pre built one of these. These things hold a lot of waste heat. Can I actually see how much? Um, about 10 million? Yeah. About 10 million waste heat in each of those. <laughs> and we still have fuel in the launch. In inside the actual launcher. We have dropped down to 57%. Disable that and we turn that on. I'm trying right now to make our efficiency drop as much as possible. Eighty per eighty five. Um, okay, there we go, 120, I was about to say, there should definitely be well over 100 megajoules, or 100 gigawatts incoming right now. Alright, we are down to 53% efficiency on the electric generator. We can actually probably get it quite a bit lower. Once this burn is over, we're going to time accelerate and hopefully we can see this drop quite a bit in comparison. That's good enough. 1,000? Oh, now you can see how our waste heat has climbed quite a bit. We are now below 50% efficiency on the electric generator. That's because we don't actually have enough um, radiators. Even if we were to deploy them all, we could not radiate the amount of heat that is incoming from over 100 gigawatts. Alright. You can see we are at 49.2 and we are barely able to do 5.1 we're at one g full gigawatt lower than what we started out at or started out at being capable of as you can see when I time accelerate it drops the waste heat drops rapidly and our efficiency climbs quite a bit Yeah, right there. From here, we are completely static on waste heat production. It is radiating as much as we are creating. I don't know the actual form. Oh, there is an actual formula for how many radiators you need, but I never paid attention to it. I just throw on radiators. That uh, make them look kind of neat in pattern. Alright, now to add this one to the network. Really active. And as you can see, we started building waste heat again. That is because we are producing power 
and that power because it's not 100 percent efficient we are generating waste heat and quite a bit of it I do know this balances out at about it should balance out around 5.5 um, gigawatts produced in fact we'll time accelerate and we don't actually no, close enough. We actually end up running out of thermal power before we uh, balance out our waste heat. But hopefully this gives you a better idea on why it's important to have multiple radiators. That was four, eight, twelve huge radiators for one upgraded 3.75 meter reactor and electric generator. This is all recorded in uh, Sandbox, as proven by that. If uh, you have questions, comments, concerns, feel free to add them to the comments section. Thank you.